direct your attention to the awards podium where we have the top three teams in the girls just concluded 4A through 6A, 4x100 meter relay. In third place, Park City High School. Their time is 49.54. Second place, Lone Peak High School, 49.12. And your 2022 Mr. Mac BYU Invitational Champions in the girls 4A through 6A, 4x100 meter relay, with an outstanding time of 48.39 seconds, Bingham High School Miners. That's Taylor, Abby, Jane, and looks like Julie there. Over here. The next event on the track will be the girls 1600 meter run. Fastest heat by times entered. Next fastest there. Athletes and their hip numbers are on the south end zone screen. Can we have four by 100 reader relay boys teams from Morgan, Evanston, and Delta, as well as Corner Canyon, Sky Ridge, and Snow Canyon, please report to the awards area. Shelby Jensen of Westlake, Avalon Meekum of American Fork, and Taylor Wilatinsky of Lone Peak. A nice opener at 72 seconds for the field. We can direct your attention to the awards where we have the boys 1A through 3A, 4x100 meter relay, top three teams. In third place from Delta High School, a time of 44.10. Second place from Evanston, Wyoming, with a time of 44.10 seconds as well. In 2022, Mr. Mike Peabody, educational champs. In the 4 by 100 meter relay with a winning time of 43.56 seconds, Morgan High School. Go Caroline! Taylor Rowatinsky. Go Caroline! Mika. Also, 2.26, for the first 800. Addie Bruning from Heron. Three of the finest in the state this year. Tara Rohatinsky has run a 444 at sea level this year. The Arcadia Invitational. Ruotinski, Annie Bruning from Harriman, Evelyn Beacom, Kate Brigham from Jackson. That's a gun. 
338, 339. The meet record is 4 minutes 50.13 seconds. By Ashley Warner of Mountain View in 2012. Taylor Rowakinski is going to get the meet record. Eddie Bruni. Kate Brigham. Jay Pettengrim from Tempe View and Avalon Meekum. With those top eight athletes, please stick around the awards area. It would be greatly appreciated. We can direct your attention to the awards podium. We have the top three finishing teams in the boys 4A through 6A, 4x100 meter relay. Third place. Hey, and fourth in the American Fork, Alon Newcomb. Third from Tiffany, Jane Hedingham. Second place from Herman, Adam Bruner. In 2022, listen at BYU Educational Board, Tiffany Hedingham. And fourth in the Tiffany Division, the new New Yorkers, four minutes, 48 minutes, 0.7 seconds. Woo! Senior from Long Beach, Taylor Lowakinski. Yeah. 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 And the next up on the track, we have the team of the boys. We have the team of the boys. We have the team of the boys. Okay, Taylor, coming back uh, from the 3200 meter yesterday. Yeah. How did uh, double win? So, uh, good job. Thank you. Uh, how did this compare to Arcadia? Um, Arcadia was a super cool experience. I feel like I was going down to sea level, so I knew that it wouldn't, uh, I'd have an advantage with that. Um, and the double it was a relay the first night, so I kind of, that one was really fun. Um, this time I'm just coming around to see what I can do with the double, see how fresh I can get my legs feeling, and just see how much I can push myself. Fantastic. Tell me about the race. Like, how did it start out? I mean, you led yeah. a lot of it. So, yeah. was that your plan from the beginning, or what did um, you? Yeah, I usually go out and take it, but I happen to take my first lap out a little too fast usually. So I just made sure to keep my first lap a little more conservative, so I didn't build up that lactic in my legs to have more to go at the end. Um, I just know that I need to keep giving more and more each lap, even if that means you're hitting the same split. You just have to push yourself a little more and make that decision in your head to, okay, you gotta kick more, kick more. Fantastic. Well, great racing today. You Thank did really you so well. Thank you. Okay, Jane and Reagan, good racing today. That was awesome, 1600 meter. And uh, so tell me about it. You guys, this was a, a four by eight yesterday for you, Jane. We had split a 214. And then coming back today, did you feel it at all from yesterday or is it feeling fresh? It felt good, yeah, it felt good. Reagan actually ran the four by eight as well yesterday. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so tell me, um, so it looked like you guys started a little bit conservative that first lap and then uh, picked it up as it went on. Was that the race strategy? It was it a bit windy or what was what was going on out there? Um, I wouldn't say very conservative. We did come through out of 72. Oh, 72, so, okay, great. Um, I think too there was a lot more people than we thought there would be, so it kind of got clunked and so people oh, slowed for down. Sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay, and tell me about how the race went on. I mean, 800 meter, it started spreading out a little bit. Uh, tell me 
how you guys are feeling kind of halfway through. Um, I felt good. Um, there had been a path that had broken away, and I didn't quite go with him, which I'm kind of regretting now. But I felt, yeah, I felt good and strong. But I just wasn't quite with the top girls. Okay, fantastic, Greg. And how about you? How'd that feel midway through the race? What was going through your head? At first, I felt really good. I was like, okay, we're on pace to break five, doing good. And then kind of like halfway through the third lap, which is usually where it kind of kills me, is I kind of slowed down and felt it. And so that fourth lap, I realized I had to get like a sub 110 to break five. So I was like, I gotta go. Uh, sadly, didn't go hard enough. I ended up with a 502, but I'm glad I picked it up so that I at least yeah. To get to that point. Okay, great. Now tell me about the last lap, the last stretch. It looks like you guys were both driving super hard, trying to get that. Uh, you did a 72 last lap, I think. What, you, what were you last lap? Do you know? I'm not sure. I just know I took out the second lap way too slow. Way too slow the second lap. Okay, it looked like you guys were moving that last lap. That was awesome. Well, good job today. You guys have any more events today, or is that it? Four by four. Four by four. Okay. Awesome. Good work. Next we have the 1600 meter. Guys are coming back after a 3200 meter yesterday. Bit of a strategic race in the girls race. This is heat number nine in the boys' 1600 meters. We have a star-studded field. Ethan Peterson of Farmington, Jan Hartshorn of Lumpy, Carter Cutting of Corner Canyon, Seth Walgren of Sky Ridge, Taysen Echohawk of Orem, Isaac Halverson of Farmington, Jane Fitzgerald of American Fork, Jess Christiansen of Emory, Jefferson McMullen of Lehigh, a Isaac Hedengren of Tipview, Liam Henninger of Mountain View, Chase Evans of American Fork, Jackson Hintz from Corner Canyon, Jojo Jordan, Olympus. Ryan Bennett, Sam Hansen, Logan Garnica, Jackson Stone, Eli Gregory, Daniel Simmons, Noah Jenkins, and Ben Jaster. Isaac Halverson of Farmington, Jaron Hartshorn of Lone Peak, oh, six. Seth Walgren, Sky Ridge. Jason Echohawk of Orm in third. Isaac Halverson, Jason Echohawk, Carter Cutting, Ethan Peterson, and Jaron Hartshorn. Hartshorn ran a 903 to win the 3200 meters yesterday. Less than two laps remaining now for this heat of the boys 1600. Utah, very well known nationally for our boys and girls distance program. And we are being treated here today in this heat of the 1600 meters. Seth Walgren of Sky Ridge takes the lead. On this third lap. Walgren, Echo Hawk. Cutting, Peterson. Isaac Halverson. 3 11 with 400 to go. Record 406 held by Casey Klinger. 
And down the back stretch, they are three deep. Two hundred to go. Ethan Peterson of Farmington taking the lead. Taysom Echohawk, Seth Walgren. As they come off the final turn down to the home straightaway. Peterson, Echohawk, Walgren. Peterson. Peterson, Echohawk. What a great race. Walgren, 4-10-18 for Ethan Peterson. 4-10-45 for Echohawk. Walgren, 4-11-96. Cutting, Hedengren. <laughs> Jefferson McMullen. The following athletes please report to the awards area. These athletes competed in the 1600 meter runs. For the 1A through 3A, with the following females again report to the awards area. Kate Brigham from Jackson Hole, Madeline Christensen of North Sand Peak, Kate Haywood of Morgan. Okay, how was the race today? It was so good. Um, we went out kind of slow. I got a good start. One of my first times having a good start for the first like 90 meters. I was just slowly gliding in and then tucked in. Very aggressive. And then second lap on that away stretch, everybody felt that we were being like slow and I was just holding on Taysom. And then like six people went around me and just were like cutting me off super physical. I don't think I took any, yeah, I didn't get spiked. I saw your arms flail at one yeah. point. You were like, whoa! Okay. Didn't get spiked this time, but like my feet were hitting people's feet. Everything was hitting everything. And it was chaotic. And then I held that and third lap I just went around tucked back in and then fourth lap we came through I think I went into first was I in first? Yeah, you were in first on the fourth lap and I was Probably driving for about 200 meters yeah I was driving so hard and man it hurt so bad and then like, 201 last 800 it was insane yeah we really threw it in because you had a 60 last lap and then a 60, 61 something like that that's insane yeah super good competition Seth was right on my shoulder he went right around me tucked on him and we were driving and then Taysen comes around um, Ethan comes around I passed Seth I think I beat Seth no I didn't beat Seth Taysen went around Ethan went around Ethan ended up winning it Taysen second Ethan third and then Carter Cutting, the guy who won Arcadia 800, he passed me right at the end and I was driving, just trying so hard not to get past everything right there. Legs were falling apart, my mind was falling apart. And I think I finished two thir or 413 was the time. Super solid today. Felt amazing coming back after that. The two mile wasn't terrible, but one of my yeah. worst races, it, I fell apart yeah, on the second tough. mile. And so that really affected my mental. I was like, I was worried. I was trying to get it out of my head, but I was thinking like, what if this happens again today? Yeah. But we held it together and we made yeah, it. Yeah, nice work. Good job, man. Thank you. And up next, B2 of the girls 100 meters of the Emily Warren from Carvana. Well, by 100, Team B is going for their school record today. Start by the field. Lane five, Bingham out very well. As is seven, Park City. Backstretch, everybody's getting after it. Come on, come on. 
Hey, everybody's getting after it. Into the final exchange. Five, Bingham. Bingham. Low peak. Bingham, low peak. Hundred meters up next. We have the four by one hundred meter final section. This BYU invite. Come on, well, let's get this. Push, 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 push. Heat six. Lane six is Sky Ridge. Lane five, Corner Canyon. Down the back stretch. Stansbury in four. Corner, Can Corner Canyon in five. Sky Ridge in six. Great handoffs. Corner Canyon in five. Sky Ridge in six. In the final exchange, Corner Canyon in five, Sky Ridge in six. Corner Canyon, Sky Ridge. Lane two, Snow Canyon. 41.85 for Corner Canyon, 42.04 for Sky Ridge, 42.78 for Snow Canyon. We could have those three teams please remain by the awards area. Second heat boys, 100 meter dash, and it's a good one. Marcus McKinnon, excuse me. Seven with Parker Kingston. Will be Smith Snowden of Sky Ridge. 10-5-7. Parker Kingston, 10-6-6 and Roy. And Cody Hagan, 10-6-7 for Corner Queen. And now at the awards area. You heard of Emmett? Heat one of the boys, 400 meters. Lane 7 is Carter Lane of Juab. Lane 5, Cole Sparrow of Ben Lohman. Lane 4, David Watts of Richfield. And Lane 6 is Lance Benham of Westlake. Okay. Just whatever part of the thing hits the ground. They come around the final corner, 150 meters to home. If you look at the names of those schools, it'll still be fast. Lane 6, Lance Benham. Lane 5, Cole Sparrow. Lane six, Benham. Lane two, Ryan Anderson. Strong finish, lane two. And then lane nine. Two of the boys, 400 meters. Lane five is Alejandro Romero of Granger. Lane six, take care of Corner Canyon. Lane four is Ethan Valletta of Lone Peak. And they are close down the backstretch onto the final turn. Alejandro Romero in lane five. Take care in six. Valletta in four. Down the 
finish line. The number one move, lane five. Lane seven for the whole pit pair, lane six. 48 and six for the man.